Okay, to use the motion encoder cart, you have to do a couple things. First of all, make sure that the motion encoder receiver is on the end with a zero, and you'll know because it's lined up with the stripes. Make sure your motion encoder cart is also lined up with the stripes and not, uh, not reversed like this. This will not work. So I'm gonna turn it back around. Uh, at that point, you want to probably turn it on, and you'll know it's glowing blue. Uh, also have it set uh, in the back so that it's uh, so that you can uh, zero it out so that's going to be what we call zero then on the logger pro uh, you can see the position is not quite uh, zero so what you're going to do is press control zero with the motion encoder cart bumped up against the receiver and when you do that it takes a second or two but it will say zero meters per second you start collecting the data and it will immediately start collecting data and if i give it a little push you can see that the data is being recorded so uh, i stopped it and let's just cancel that so that's basically it at that point you can highlight anything you want any part of it and if you scroll down here uh, if you scooch it over it'll tell you uh, position velocity time you can see the color of the graph matches the color of the font in uh, the data table over here. So any information you need is pretty much highlighted. If I highlight a different section, it will highlight different sections of the data table. And I scooch that over, you can see this was before I pushed it.